In today's masterclass, we are taking a look at moving averages. And we're going to particularly focus on what a moving average is, the difference between simple, weighted, and exponential moving averages, and then some of the uses of moving averages. So first of all, what is a moving average? A moving average is the average price of an asset market, asset or market over a set time period. A moving average is another way to look at a trend to try to eliminate the impact of noise in a market. By plotting the average price, the price movement is smoothed out. There are different types of moving averages that vary in their calculation, but the interpretation remains the same. The three most common types of moving average are the simple, the weighted, and the exponential. The simple moving average, or the SMA, is calculated by summing all of the past closing prices over the time period and then dividing by the number of events in that time period. So for example, for a 10-day simple moving average, the last 10 daily closing prices are added together and then simply divided by 10. Each point in the data series has the same impact on the results regardless of where it occurs in the sequence. A criticism of the simple moving average is that the most recent data should be and is seen as more important, therefore it should have a higher weighting. So here we have a simple 50 day moving average plotted on the daily ASX 200 chart and you can see the market is below in here, the moving average is below the market rising and in this case the market is below, the, sorry, the moving average is below the, the, um, the price action. A weighted moving average. So the weighted or linear weighted moving average is calculated by taking the sum of the closing prices over the time period, multiplying each by the position of the data point and dividing by the sum of the number of periods. So the more the, the closer data gets a larger weighting. The most recent data we get in this case, or in the case we're coming here in the example, in a 10-day linear weighted weighted average, the most recent closing price is multiplied by 10 the prior session by nine and so on until the first day. These numbers are then added together and divided by the sum of the multipliers. So 10 plus nine plus eight plus seven, etc., down to one. So in here we see the weighted moving average is closer in this case, in most cases in here, the weighted moving average is gonna be closer to the, the actual current price action than the, um, than the simple moving average. So the weighted moving average in blue here with the simple moving average still on the chart in here in red. The exponential moving average calculation uses a smoothing factor to place a higher weight on recent data points and, re and generally regarded as more efficient than the linear weighted average. The EMA or exponential moving average is a weighted average but the weighting applied exponentially with the bias to the most recent data point. This means that the exponential moving average is far more responsive to more recent price changes relative to the simple moving average. And here we see in green here the, the exponential moving average. In this case, at the moment, the market, the exponential moving average between the simple moving average, which we still see here in red, and, the, and then the weighted linear weighted moving average in blue. So the green one here, this, the exponential moving average. We're now take a look at some of the uses of moving average. There are three primary uses of moving averages for the technical analyst. Trend identification and confirmation, trend reversal, and use as simple support and resistance. When a moving average is heading upwards and the price is above it, the security is seen, or the asset is seen, the market is seen as being in an uptrend. Conversely, a downward sloping moving average with the price below signals a downtrend. So here we have, in again, the same chart we looked at with a simple moving average, whilst price is above the, um, the price is above the moving average and the moving average is pointing higher, this is confirmation that we're in an uptrend. Back over here, we see the market moving lower and below the simple moving average, and then we would kind of more regard the market as being more in a downtrend. Trend reversal as a use for moving average. Price moves through an important moving average or maybe a crossover of two separate important moving averages. So in here we would see when the market was previously in this uptrend, when the market breaks down through the moving average, then we see this as, as a trend reversal and the mo this uptrend is no longer intact and the break below the simple moving average signals a reversal of trend and the market is shifting from being bullish to potentially more bearish. 
And then finally, we're going to look at support and resistance. Important moving average can provide important support or resistance levels. So again, looking at the chart in here, as the market moves back, back towards the moving average in here, we would look for the moving average to give support to the market. So then we would look to be buying on moves towards the simple moving average, but then maybe when the market crosses through the, the simple moving average, then we reverse the position, we change the view. So in this masterclass, we've taken a look at moving average, what moving averages are. We've looked at different types of moving average, the simple, the weighted and the exponential moving averages. And we've used, looked at some of the common uses of moving averages. This has been Steve Miley for The Bull, and please do join us again on theball.com.au and theball.asia. Stay bullish.